Well, this is the toothpick lab activity. And what we've got in our little Petri dish, which is our gene pool, is a bunch of toothpick fish. Now, these are not the actual fish. These are the genes of the fish, as represented, um, as you can see on your, your sheet. Uh, the different colors mean different things. Um, the greens are dominant over the reds and the yellows, but the reds and the yellows actually have an incomplete dominance and will blend together. So our first step on the procedure with number four is to make a first generation of fish. We're going to pull out the genes in pairs without looking at them and stay, keep them side to side as they stay in pairs. So I'm going to go ahead and just start picking out some gene pairs and then we'll come back and look at them all and write down our results. All right, here's our random pairing of uh, gene pairs. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this information here and document it into our uh, gene pair table A sheet. As you can see with the example, if we had a green gene and a red gene, we would just put the GR right there, and then the resulting fish color goes over into the second part of the table. Um, that would have resulted in green. So let's just take it bit by bit. The first one is a yellow green, and going down from that we had a green green, a red red, yellow yellow, green red, green, yellow. Our next pairing up at the top, yellow, red, yellow, yellow, red, red, green, red, green, red, yellow, yellow, oh, excuse me, yellow, green. And then go ahead and just put that information into your uh, table A. The next step on the procedure just simply says to take that information from the first data table from table A, count up how many greens, reds, oranges, and yellows you have, and just simply from that second column, uh, which is right here, just simply take that information here and put it, uh, tally it up and total it into that uh, table B. I had seven reds, or excuse me, seven greens, two reds, one orange, and two yellows. Step seven on the procedure says that where the fish are living, it's very green and lush, lots of vegetation, algae's covering. The green, red, and orange fish are very well camouflaged from the predators in this environment. But none of the yellowfish survive or reproduce because predators can easily splat them in the green algae. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove any of the yellowfish, and they are not going to go back into our gene pool, so we're just going to set them aside uh, away from the rest. So let's see. Oh, there's another pairing. And that is it. So we've removed those uh, straight yellowfish away from the... Um, from the gene pool and we're going to put all the genes back into our gene pool here and we're going to repeat this process a few more times and I'll just come on and show you the data. Alright, without looking we've got another um, bunch of fish that we've made with our gene pairs and we're going to follow now um, step number 10. We're going to record that information again and again, we're going to put that information into table B. And we'll probably do this again. Um, number 13, it says the well camouflaged fish no longer live and have more offspring, so their numbers are increasing. So we're going to go ahead and draw a third generation. Again, I'll come back on. So this is generation two. We are now looking at the uh, genes for the offspring for generation three. Go ahead and write that information down into ta data table A and then recount and put that into data table B as well. This is generation four. This is step 19 of the procedure on the PowerPoint. Uh, you should have answered questions four through six on your answer sheet. Um, but now this is generation four that have been drawn. And we are not going to remove any yellow fish from this gene pool. But as I see, I don't, I don't see any yellow fish. As stated before, this is our fourth generation fish, so I've gone ahead and put that into table A and table B. We're now to the procedure where it says, stop, an environmental catastrophe occurs. Um, factory waste harmful to algae is dumped into the stream, rapidly killing the algae. The remaining rocks and sand are good camouflage for yellow, red, and orange fish. Now the green fish are easily spotted by predators and can't survive or reproduce. Because the green fish don't survive, set them aside. So I'm going to go and remove any fish that will be green.
This is our fourth generation survivors. And this is what we'll put into uh, table B, the last row. This is our fourth generation survivors. Since we don't have class data yet, we're just going to use these two as our survivors. If you will, just go ahead now and finish answering the questions on your worksheet. And um, the last number 10 says to research a real life example. You can either choose the Florida Panther or the Cheetah to answer those questions. Just read through the articles and then uh, put the response on your answer sheet. Take care.